light comes up. Close the door. Try to keep the cat out. <laughs> He's gonna want blood. Maybe. Well, it wasn't my phone, because I didn't answer anyway. <laughs> well, that was cool. I didn't know you were going to go like purple and shit on it. Yeah, I was going to do purple for like some of the rocks. Oh, that's cool. What it looks like. That's cool. It's pretty good looking. Just remember, crying is not enough. Never is. Never is. The axe is good for chopping the head. Get my boy Dead's man head. <laughs> Best Greek game ever made. God of War, that's a phony Greek game. It's true. It wasn't even made by Christians. It was made by... Made by Dave Joffe. Canadians? Uh, I don't know. It was Ubisoft, right? Uh, no, it might have been. I just, know, I just remember from the thing where uh, if you call the phone number... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you? It's me, man. It's me, Dave. Dave Joffe? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I fucking love that. That number still works, I think. I'm gonna call that number later tonight. I, it's been a while since I called it. Try to call it like, you know, two or three times a year. Make sure it still works. Yeah, yeah. Not yet. Like, if they take that number down, that's when you know we're fucked. It's true. It's like you said with the thing about the anime channel yeah, during yeah. the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, yeah. Go to the anime channel. Go to the anime channel. <laughs> it's just like that. They take down the God of War <laughs> secret phone call. <laughs> then I'll have to go to YouTube to listen to it again. It's true. And that's just not the same. It's not. It's really not. Yeah, I also just uh, talking about starting at like 7 or not. I just know that I think we have to get more hours in or something. Some of these things. I don't know if we need... I don't think we need more hours to get affiliate, but there are some things that are seeing oh. like more hours a little bit. More. I thought we already had affiliate just, status. Or not affiliate, um the next one up, partner status. Yeah, partner status. Yeah, that one I think is mostly just viewers right now. Yeah, it's just uh, you need to get at least yeah. um uh what is it? Uh oh, I accidentally clicked in my Painting a city on top of a waterfall with a bunch of cool statues. He did the pencil before stream. Yes, right now I'm doing the the effect, the watery effects and stuff like that. Yeah, let me see if it's chat. Let's type something. Head chat when oh there it is, yeah. I'd accidentally uh, turned chat off. Gotcha. To, uh, that was when we were seeing how that logo looked. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I like this purple color. I didn't know he was going to make it purple or anything. Yeah, it's, uh, I kind of like the color purple to go, uh, so this is a city of orcs, uh, which, um, I've based them off of Russian culture, uh, for the most part. Um, uh, also that being said too is I've, I've kind of gone, me, me and Wes kind of like hate, have a similar taste of hating kind of tropes and things like that. Uh, in the sense of like, you know, you want to try something different, try out, uh, you know, taking ideas and turning them on their head in that regard. So we've kind of made the orcs a bit more civilized, depending yes. on depending on which one they're at. Yeah, if you want to use the word civilized. I don't know if people like to use that word anymore. 
I guess I don't know <laughs> the, the 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 culture is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like orc culture and most uh, traditional um, you know fantasy genres is a lot more you know the barbaric side. You know? Yeah, it's a bit more tribal. Tri- yeah, I guess that's another word for it too. But like uh, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. I guess and I, I didn't know if that was uh, the wrong word to use when I said civilized. Yeah, I'm not sure anymore. I don't know what words people like to use anymore for stuff like that. Uh, I guess the cult, it's more based off of, yeah, Russian culture. Uh, so, um, but mixed with like, you know, different things. Because they're like different sects, uh, sects and stuff like that of the orc tribes, things like that. Like the mm-hmm. ones that we showed in the forest, they're, they're a different, they have a different god well, as opposed to these people have their own god as well. Like, mm-hmm. I guess that's basically the main difference. Like. But yeah, again, most most orcs are usually portrayed to be like you know kind of the straw man villain type, and I feel like we're trying to go for a different approach. Is that... Yeah, it depends on the media. I mean, in the Warcraft in Warcraft lore, they're pretty good. Depends on what side you're on, I guess. But well, yeah, yeah, the know, horde forever, right? Yeah, the horde always. If you're with the alliance. Catch these hands. That's all I gotta say. All those pallies bubbling her thing out of there, cowards. <laughs> Yeah, plus I had an old thumbnail from something else we had, like, messed around with that had, like, all these cool statues at a waterfall yeah. with, like, a little tower. So we just decided to use that and change it to a city and change some stuff up. Yes, for the Horde. Yes. Always. I still get triggered when I see Alliance stickers on people's cars. <laughs> uh, I don't know, maybe not triggered, just vehemently angry. But yeah, the yeah, just like you said, different ca- uh, thing than typecasting all of them as villains, you know? Yeah, because in this place they're relatively, I would say, um, what's the word? I wouldn't say also, this setting doesn't have like, you know, there, there's not like the villain. The idea of a villain is a little different. Yeah. In this setting. We try to make it a bit more like the real world. I mean, there's not too many real villains, you know, not anymore. And there's yeah. still a good number of them, but yeah, and it's again, it's like uh, most villains in our world are much less. Um... I usually like having a person as the villain versus, yeah, like you said, like an entire culture. Yeah, that's of evil. And, yeah, that's that's what I was going for because yeah, yeah, I just I can't stand that. I get I, it's so frustrating because um, I feel it's like it's just an old way of storytelling. Yeah, it, you know, I know it's it just is a little outdated now. Yeah, it's just a frustrating way of uh, going about storytelling, in my opinion, just because making uh, a whole group of people your straw man is just a little annoying because you it just it's um it's so. <sighs> It's outdated. Yeah, it's outdated. Yeah, that's it, it's considered like you know racist or whatever. Now I think that just makes it outdated. Technically. Yeah, I'm not talking about like the racism like portion that. of it. I feel like it's just kind of boring because there's no room for complexity. Um, and most of the stories that usually go and try to talk about how we do that, uh, like you know, like dances with wolves kind of yeah. type story, is just since it's been done so many times, I'm just like, I, okay, I, I understand. Yes, you know, vilifying other people bad. Yes, you are correct. off just a bit mm-hmm. so I need to go in and start doing some details it's a lovely purple and mustard thank you the mustard's supposed to be kind of like a green uh, for the plant life that's on this oh is that green it's like a yellowish green so you can't really tell because of the lighting oh I was like I also can't tell if it's green oh you <laughs> just you just don't have a is that are you, you said your red green deficient it's red green deficient okay. so yeah. if there's like a really really light green in there it's probably not interesting because it just looks oh, kind of mustardy to me. Yeah, it's a it's a little bit. It's like a very yellow green. Oh, okay. Uh, again, yellow is good to go with purple yeah, no, because uh, yellow and purple are uh, opposite colors. Yeah, yellow and purple are 
complimentary. Yeah. Yeah, they're complimentary colors. They're not as big of buddies as orange and blue. You yes. Know? I love that picture of all those movie posters. <laughs> they're all orange and blue next oh, to each yeah. other. That should crack me up. Yeah, there always are. Lazy. You want some lazy ass poster design that works. Hey, man, look. It works. Blue is a color that, like, you know, comes up and you, you can feel it a lot of the times. Mm hmm. Red is also really good to use to orange is just really good at popping. Uh, and I used to like that color palette a lot. You're gonna be working in the middle. Yeah, I'm gonna be working in the middle for most of this. Stay there, please. Yeah, so Chad, I'm gonna be basically working in a painterly fashion today for this one. I figured since that it was a waterfall, I should be you know, much more painterly with it and how mm -hmm. uh I go about coloring and all that stuff. Low-key triggered by purple and yellow because they were your high school colors. That's funny. I just always think of the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, yeah, that sounds Isn't better. that Lakers colors? Purple yeah, and that, yellow? it's purple and gold, but yeah. Or purple and gold, technically, yeah. Uh, yeah, if you want to be technical about it, but yeah. Yeah. What, was, what, is, what is purple and yellow? Like TCU, I think, is also like that, too. Oh, I think so, yeah. There is like a color set. Oh, yeah, purple and gold. Yeah, yeah. Technically gold. I mean, you know. Look, gold is just a jank-ass yellow. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. You can, you can stand by that statement, I guess. You can... Uh... <laughs> I, I don't know this man, Chad. I don't know. I have no idea who he is. Who is he? Who are you? How did you get in my house? No, sorry, sorry. No, no, I'm fine. I'm just kidding. I just it's because I need to start doing. I'm trying to do everything that's the same. Like, yeah, know. no, I get you. I get you. I just gotta like. It's hard on horizontal ones because there's a lot that goes on. Yeah. I just gotta figure out where you're gonna be. Yeah. No, that's not. So, what a burger, man. Well, I only need a little bit of the sandwich. Oh, okay. I wish I hadn't forgot my mask. I could have just went and bought just a monster. That was all I wanted to go do. It was weird that my mask wasn't in my car. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Yeah. I thought it was coffee also. I don't like coffee originally. Yeah, uh, I apologize. Uh, I thought that would help you wake up. No, it will. I, I just also don't know if I can eat or drink anything anymore. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, it's not fair, but you know. I'll probably go to the doctor after the virus is over. I don't want to go to the doctor for indigestion and get corona. Yeah, no, for real. I went there because I needed to get my depression meds, but you know. Mm. I feel like that's for a decent reason. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, it's a big waterfall. It's going to have like cool statues in it. There's a castle. Uh, there's like a city at the top of it. Mm -hmm. What's up, Zared? How's it going? Nice. I'm already ready. <laughs> All right. My body is Reggie. Oh, yes, Zared. I've been meaning to ask you. How can I get my body to be as godlike as yours? That's true. How do we get crazy ripped like you? Yeah, you're, you're like Master Roshi ripped. Yeah, like fucking just huge, man. Just straight up jacked. What is it? Like huge Jackman got nothing yeah. on you. Yeah, you you've gone past one punch, man. You're you're zero punch, man. Yeah, you don't even need to punch me. You just look at them. You're so ripped. You look at them and they're dead. Yeah, that's it. How do you do it, man? It's crazy. I don't know how he does it. Give us your secrets. What's the secret? What's the sauce? Give us the sauce, man. I need it. Come on, tell me, man. <laughs> It's fucked up. It's fucked up you have all this power and all this knowledge and you just don't share. He's gonna keep the secret to himself. Yeah, it's fucked up, man. He promised Zeus. He promised Zeus, so, yeah. man. He can't just let his secret slip, man. I understand. If that's the case. He promised the gods, bro. Yeah, you can't go back on a god. You can't do it. You can't refuse him either. Mm-mm. I mean, you know what happens if you, like, fuck with Zeus? He fucks you. Yeah, yeah. That's just, that's what's gonna happen. No, no, yeah. <laughs> most uh, most Greek and Roman stories start with Zeus was feeling a little horny. Yeah. And Hera wasn't putting out, so. Nope. nope. 
Arrow wasn't feeling it. Arrow wasn't feeling it, and here we are. Hmm. Yeah, he's just laughing at it. It does look pretty cool though, I like him. Yeah. It's definitely gonna look cool when it looks the water and everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he says that we have him confused with someone else. <laughs> no, no, see now he's trying to throw us off the trail. Yeah. Now he's trying to throw us off the trail. It's fucked up, man. Not unless there was some tragic body swapping accident since last time we've seen you. Yeah, yeah. Is that the case, though? Was there some tragic body swapping episode? Because <laughs> I'd totally believe it if Zared was involved. I would. I would probably believe a, a good amount of ridiculous uh, stories if Zared was involved in them. Yeah, that's true. I mean, he's basically an anime character. It's true. For real. I mean, he is 14 years old, and yet for somehow he's so fucking jacked. Just ripped. Shredded. <sighs> Just an Adonis. <sighs> Oh no, you changed bodies with Lane? <laughs> terrifying. Oh uh, god, I'm so sorry. Terrifying. <laughs> That's terrible, man. It's fucked up, bro. Oh no. Are you, are you okay? You want to talk about it, man? <laughs> it's like, we're here for you. <laughs> I love how just vehemently uh, Ellen just hates Lane. Oh yeah, it's great. Because <laughs> of like their only one interaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They only had one interaction, that was all she needed. That was just hilarious. That's all she needed. To know that yeah. she was not a fan. That was just funny. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> His right side is paralyzed after the body swap, oh no! Damn. What that's did, not good. What did Lane do? <laughs> right? What did Lane do to make you paralyzed like that? I mean, that's fucked up. Lane gotta take care of the uh, other person's body better. Is Lane's left side paralyzed <laughs> to counter this out? Was it a tragic accident? The Freaky Friday didn't go as planned. The freaky it got too freaky. Yeah, the Freaky, Freaky Fast, Freaky Fresh. And your big toe on your left foot, too. You just gotta wiggle your big toe. Just wiggle your big toe. I fucking love that. I was listening to that Kill Bill soundtrack, because, um... What was it? Some streamer that Devin was watching was playing that Ghosts of Tsukushima game, yeah, and they yeah. just had that shit on in the background. So I'm like, dude, I gotta put the Kill Bill soundtrack on now. Soundtrack's good. It really is. Says he tried wiggling it, but he snapped a rib. He snapped a rib. Damn. 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 Man. Lane was in worse shape than I thought. Makes sense. This is probably, he must have ginyued him. Yeah. That was what happened. Lane he paralyzed himself and then swapped bodies. I can believe that, yeah. This is despicable. I can buy, I'll buy that for a dollar. Yeah, that, Lane would do that. It's fucked up, man. Well, exactly. Lane, why would you do such a thing? <laughs> Poor Zared. I know, Zared did nothing wrong. Yeah, he's never done once anything wrong. Hashtag Zared did nothing wrong. Ever. And that's not even an ironic hashtag this no. time. It's true. It's just That's just a true statement, someone did yeah. nothing wrong. That's it. Yeah, definitely don't body swap. Don't do it. Can't cannot if you go wrong so fast. Cannot recommend not doing that enough. Yeah. It rarely ever works out. 
There's always one of those in the cartoons. Oh, no, I know. There's always a body swap. There's like a Toku body swap episode in every Sentai also. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I'm excited for when they do it in. <laughs> I know. I'm waiting for this one. I, I'm wondering who's going to swap. Pink's going to swap with yellow, maybe. No, I, th I think green and yellow will swap, maybe. No, the reason I want pink and uh, yellow to swap is because pink has the, you know, the yeah the hand the sir is the surgeon oh okay. and he's, he's the, the gamer, gamer. Okay. so they're both using their That's hands true. they could both use it yeah so yeah i was like ah, oh, I, I could see this uh this playing out in a specific way and be funny <laughs> you're gonna ask the boy just so you can upgrade you're gonna switch bodies with him now <laughs> That's rough. I didn't know that would be an upgrade. Switcheroo. Well, I mean, since Lane paralyzed himself to Ginyu Zared, he's got to get revenge now. Oh, that makes sense. And he won't expect him, you know, if he's in Austin's body. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. this is the ultimate, like, sneaky revenge. I understand here. now. I understand. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. No, no, don't worry. Your, your secret's safe with us. And I mean, we I wait. We await an update on your revenge. Yeah, we we won't tell anybody. Chat might though. I don't trust them. Gotta be careful. Watch out. Yeah, this one's where you do the ink over the paint. Yeah. Man, you know what's weird? The song I've got stuck in my head? I don't know. What is it? You know that song, uh, uh, Move Along by the All-American Rejects? Yes. I don't know why, but that song's in my head. I don't know either. I think the only way to get that out is, you know, with a gun. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to tell me to sing it out, but, you know. No, no, there's no other way. <laughs> oh man, speaking of, we were playing Spooky House last night, and uh, Sabrina found a photograph, and the entire night was just, look at this photograph! <laughs> that was it. That was it. Game over, man. She became Professor McNeem. She was hip with the youth. That is singing. That's fine. Dude, spooky House goes in, man. Oh yeah. It doesn't matter if they think you're real, they'll know you're real. <laughs> they'll know. They'll know. They'll know. They'll you're know. Real. Doesn't matter what they think. It's, yeah, it's doesn't matter. matter what they believe. They'll know. <laughs> uh, that's it. That's all that matters, man. Yeah. I just wanted to check to see how dry that was, and then I'm just going to grab this. Where are we going? Where are you going? When are you coming home? Hikari na ure ni na himotomete. Whoa! Yeah, I'm over here in the corner. Okay. Some hot corner action. Busting out the color pencils. Yep, these are the watercolor pencils. So they're water soluble, which means I can go over them with watercolor. Mm. That'll make them blend in a little better. Yeah, now it looks more green to me. Yeah, yeah. Gosh, go away, all American rejects. Why must you torment me with your music? I'm telling you, the only way to get that out is with a gun. That's it. Who Just am I shooting? Away. But who am I shooting, Wes? 
I mean, you're releasing your persona. Oh, God. <laughs> the only way is to burn your dread, my son. <laughs> oh, God. That's it. Nothing else. Burn my bread! You can tell he's in a good mood today. See, he's complaining, but I think it's the All-American Rejects that's making him feel good. That's why he can't handle it. He can't deal with that. <laughs> we have to throw up there? Yeah. That's what that looked like. Yeah, I was about to make myself vomit real quick. <laughs> i make it feel alive again. <laughs> I can't be feeling good, Wes. The art will be bad if I feel good. Oh, uh, impossible. It's how I. That, it's. It's just how it is, man. You need the pain since yeah. you're painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the old joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put Garzy's wing on again. That is a lot of pain. A lot of pain. Dude, he's got the Magic Jordans. Come on. It's just All right. It's just so much. I wonder if that whole thing is on YouTube. Probably. We should see if we, we should uh, have Jamie watch that with all our rooster teeth buddies. <laughs> Make sure they watch it dubbed. Oh yeah, well obviously that's yeah. the only way to watch it. It's yeah, like yeah. ghost stories. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, just imagining that. Oh man, that'd be wild. Yeah, if they haven't seen Garzy's wing yet, what are they doing? Probably good work. It's peak anime. Probably actual you know, good work. Zared says, just eat healthy and exercise. Okay. That's how he got like that. Which means he's probably a vampire. He's lying. It's like Araki, how he says he just washes his face with tap water. <laughs> well, it's not just any tap water. It's Japanese. It's technically Japanese tap water. Yeah, but... yeah. I think he's lying. I think Zero's actually a vampire now. Well, I mean, the only That's reason I ask is because I had been running a lot of 5Ks and I was starting to lose a little weight, but then, you know, the quarantine happened. And then now I'm back to, uh, to 215. That fucking piece of shit is what I am. That's true. That's disgusting. I know. That makes you look as fat as me. It's true. You don't want your kids to grow up to be like me. Yeah, I don't want my kids to grow up to be like Wes. It's true. That's why you tell the Max a lot every day. <laughs> you don't want to be like Uncle Wes. Dude, I need to start watching anime with Maxwell, especially since he knows who One Punch Man it's is. It's true. Kid's like five and he knows One Punch Man. That means he's destined to be a weeb. It's true. Poor bastard. I just love that. He's like, he is a superhero who is bald. <laughs> that was it. That's who One Punch Man is. Yeah. That was great. That's all you need to know about him. Dude, that's everything about him. The superhero who is bald. That's just, I love the way he says stuff like that. I'm trying to get this reflection off so I can see what the fuck I'm doing. Mm. You mean turn the light off? Yeah, just for a sec, real quick. All right, all right. I think it's that one that's causing it. This one? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. And now it's just insanely dark in this room. I know, right? What the fuck happened? Back to the basement, bitch. What, <laughs> what happened? All right, we're good. What happened? All right. Oh, he says, here we go. He says, you also need to sacrifice a virgin every solar solstice. See? And you have to be dancing with a newly shaven sheep while wearing its wool. But yeah, other than that, work out and eat well. <laughs> so that's really not that big of a commitment. No, it's not, no. I mean, honestly. I mean, the working, the, the consistently working out and eating better part is the hard part at this point. For sure. Yeah. My eating, my eating habits have uh, gone mm -hmm. down the drain. I just, I like sweets. Yeah. And, and Ellen is kind of an instigator. <laughs> right. <laughs> not to love, not love Ellen, but man. She's your innate ability. buddy? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to go running yes, uh, on Wednesday. Uh, wait, well, that was yesterday. Wow, weird. Yeah. Weird. Weird how time works like that. Um, but uh, my running is going to the, the rec center and running, and we, we're kind of on that, like, can't go there just yet because uh, they had two employees uh, 
test positive at uh, the Parks and Rec Center. Oh, uh, but, yeah. but we don't know which one, so we're like, well, we're just going to have to wait it out for a second. Yeah, that's true. Just like, run around the block here. I know it's hot as fuck. Yeah, but... it's just it's so fucking hot. It's like, I'm really bad with the heat. And plus, it's like really hard to run and carry that water bottle in the heat. Yeah, that's true, I guess. It's, I'm making you're a little baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I am. I'm making a lot of excuses here. But like the fact that I'm making excuses is not lost on me. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> no, I feel you about the heat. I used to do like two laps around the neighborhood, even just walking, and now I'm like, uh, I'm drenched in sweat. I'm going inside. Yeah, yeah. Like I could keep walking, but uh, at what I've cost? already got a puddle following me. So. Yeah. But at what cost? Mr. Anderson. Fuck <laughs> 05. That's how much freedom costs, remember? Oh, that's right, yeah. yeah. Go back to your Team America. I kind of want to watch Team America again. I haven't seen that in so long. Yeah. That movie is hilarious. Mm-hmm. You need to break out the knives again at some point. Show them how you studied the blade. <laughs> so far. What's everybody in chat up to right now? How big are these going to be? Matt, do, do a little finger thing like where they're at. They're like the other hand probably. So can, yeah. Like that. They're like big faces with some hands under them praying. They're like crying and praying. The water's like going over their face like tears and stuff. You might be the only one there. I don't know. Jamie was there a second ago. But Jamie's always up to something else. It says there's seven viewers, but they're probably all robots. Yeah, because we are, you know, we're stacking the system so we can get more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Calvin's here now. Hey, Calvin. Oh, we were just wondering what everyone was up to, Jamie. Apparently, uh, you were in the shower. That was what you were up to. Nice. <laughs> That's right. Gotta stay fresh. Yeah. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta, gotta be, be fresh. fresh. I got a really fresh. I mean, if you ain't fresh, what are you? Nothing. You just expired. Oh, you're watching DNA? Dude, that show was good. It's like if Beastars was actually good. Yeah. I, didn't, I never watched Beastars. It didn't, it's, look, it didn't it's look not. like it was something for me. It's not good. I like the opening. That claymation opening is oh, really yeah. cool. And the song is really good, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, BNA is fucking sweet. I remember when they showed the first images for that, we're like, okay, Trigger is making a furry basketball anime? <laughs> I'm very confused. Why? <laughs> but why, Trigger? Was, why? Yeah, because it was just the Tanuki girl with the basketball and yeah. shit. I'm like, what? Excuse me? Que paso? What the fuck? Hey, Nani the fuck, man. Yeah. 
Yeah, Kevin says B-Star is too much melodrama, and Jamie says it starts strong, but then gets, quote, deeply uncomfortable. Yeah, it's because it's like a lot of horny teenagers, basically, is the... Yeah, it was something like... I think someone told me something like that once. Yeah. Josh made it, it was telling me that it's about people, uh, animals who get stands, and I was like, that sounds dumb, and he's like, oh, it's extremely dumb, yeah. <laughs> And I was like, that doesn't, I'm pretty sure that was his troll. I just know it looked like Zootopia the anime. Yeah. And then like, but then BNA was just better Zootopia the anime. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so. Hey, are you ready to go? Cause you know the way to go. Shinji died along the way. Sai, you go. Your brand new world. I think the reason I'm having to sing a lot more chat is so I can get that stupid fucking all American reject song out of my head. I like I also like how they kept playing the ending song in the show. Oh, they played they so just many play times. it all the time. And the yeah. subtitle where it was just like oh whatever the song's name is, it's like night running or yeah, night, like, running. night running plays. <laughs> that yeah, just yeah. cracked me up. Yeah. It's like as if you didn't know the song's name, you'd be like, What? Yeah, yeah. What's up? He says the rabbit tries to fuck the wolf and he virgins himself out of it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Look, he's committed to becoming a wizard, okay? Yeah, man. That's a path. That's commitment. You can't just take your wizard vow lightly. Yeah. Can't be done. Can't be done. That just sounds creepy anyway, regardless of if you're ace or whatever. Like, doesn't, that doesn't, I feel like that doesn't matter, that's just weird. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, she says, uh, yeah, it just weirded me out how they made it a contest of being the woman who'd fuck the wolf dude first. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah, that's not that's not cool. <laughs> like in any way, shape, or form. It's just kind of weird. Like I don't know. It would be. It it has to be done really well. Like in um, oh, Begotta HK. Oh yeah, yeah. That, but, that horny girl. Oh my god, she that's, was great. Yeah, but that's because she wanted to have a like a hundred sex friends before high school was over. Yeah, that was just her goal. Like, yeah, she, she, yeah, that was hilarious. She she wasn't competing with anybody. She no, just she's competing against herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just was trying to you know. Yeah, that's character growth. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. She, she knew she had to compete against herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was trying to get, you know. But she couldn't do it just because she was too dumb to get with the, even one fucking dude. <laughs> I love that shit. Yeah. <laughs> she just, is so dumb. She is just chaotic, stupid to yeah. the max. Oh, it's funny as fuck. <laughs> dude. Is that the Cherry Boy anime? I, I don't... Uh... No. I don't think so. I mean, usually they use Cherry Boy as a term for a virgin. So, like, in the Japanese, she does say that, but it's this one. I'll link it. Uh, in English, it's called, what, like, Yamada's First Time or something, I think? Exactly. Which is, like, a weird, like, change of the thing. Yeah. But it's because Bigata HK is, like, some weird Japanese term. It's, like, a play on some words or something i think yeah it's this one this show's fucking hilarious oh yeah show's wild the rich bitch oh man like, oh my god oh, tear. that dumb fucking rich girl she's so tear oh my god she's yeah. like in my pantheon of dumb rich bitches <laughs> like Yeah, this show is fucking hilarious. I highly recommend this show. Yeah, and even if you don't like it, it's still, like, it's way better than Beastars in any sense of the word. Yeah, it's really funny because the premise makes it sound super trashy, but then it's actually just really funny. And even as, like, kind of an etchy style anime, it's really not that bad. Because it knows what it's doing and it's, it's like, making a, jokes about it really well. Mm-hmm. It's not like one of those shitty isekais that just wants to be a hentai. 
It doesn't have the courage. Yeah, to yeah, be a that's porn. it. Yeah, yeah, because she wants to be with all the dudes, but she's like trying to get with this guy. But she's like such a dumbass. Yeah, she's like, this should be easy. I'll t- go with this virgin because obviously it'll be like you know we got to take you know baby steps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She compares him to like a your starting beer. At yeah, the beginning yeah. Of the night yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the salary man like ordering the beer. He's like, I got this. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I totally get this. I can nail this. Commences to be a dumbass. <laughs> oh shit! No, I'm stupid. <laughs> Oh, for fuck, I forgot I'm a dumbass. Yeah. She's just like next leveling herself all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's like totally into her too, and she just doesn't understand. Yeah, but he's like so confused. Yeah, it's it's pretty funny. I, yeah. I, I remember enjoying that one. That was actually funny because that was actually how we met some people at uh, a con because we had just uh, finished watching it all the way through, and uh, we were at uh, Delta H Con, and I was in line waiting for uh, an autograph. And I was just talking to these two dudes that were in front of me because they were talking about like some ho anime and stuff like that. And like all this, I was like, bro, you want to go to ho anime? <laughs> we got HK. <laughs> and I, but I messed up. I said that she wanted 500 sex friends because she was the, uh, and you said, <laughs> I was like, bro, she's a thought, not an afterthought. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. That's like a joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that shit. So fucking funny. <laughs> Yo, Ash, what's up? I was like, calm down. She's got standards. Oh, yeah, yeah, She had standards. <laughs> that show is fucking hilarious. Yeah. I will watch that again. Oh, yeah. That show's great. Now that we have Outlaw Star, though, too, we can actually watch that as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got that back from time, so. Yeah. Sure, no problem. Yeah. What's up? How's all the programming going, anyway? Thanks for stopping in. Oh, cool. Okay. What's up, Nova? Thanks. Yeah, there's gonna we're gonna add some giant faces soon. There are like giant statues in this waterfall. Yeah, I got. I don't it. know exactly when they're popping in. Matt's Matt's setting the landscape right now. Yeah, sorry, I have to go. Uh, the way I do this is I work backwards. Yeah, or, so not backward. Uh, yeah, I guess I work from the background to the foreground. Yeah, whenever I'm painting, at least. Mm-hmm. So there's gonna be some even better stuff popping up soon. Right? Yeah, it's really cool. I like the colors. Yeah, there's a city on top of a giant waterfall. Yeah. And there's gonna be all these cool, like, uh, faces. Like, they're praying. They got, like, hands under them and stuff. Mm hmm. Let's do. I wanna make sure I get the sea foam right here. Mm hmm. Uh, don't waste time feeling bad. Just do the work. What's feeling? Who's feeling bad? Uh, she said she thought she was kind of slacking on her homework. Oh, don't worry about it. Yeah. No, if you think of behind, just try and, you know, bite down. Just get it done, yeah. Yeah, because just feeling bad about it won't help you. That's usually makes me get even more behind. Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah. Just try and break it up, too. Like, don't look at it as, like, a giant chunk you're behind, either, because that'll get me, like, down, too. It's like, mm. oh, man, I have all of this stuff that I have to do, you know? It's like, well, I'll just try and break it up and worry about the first thing. There we go. Much better. There's a new uh, pizza place next to you? Nice. Sounds good. I do like some pizza. I need to eat better. I know Ellen and I said that once we, uh, everything got settled, we'd be like you know better on our food, and like that hasn't really happened yet. So we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. What's that word? Lay down some laws. <laughs> well, Zara, you were also created from rock by the gods. You know that's why you don't have to worry about homework. Like, come on. Yeah, they get one look at you, and they're like, "Oh, this man doesn't need to be doing homework." 
Thanks, Ash. Uh, I'm sure we'll get it all done. Don't worry about it. No, it's it's hard. It's hard to, to take advice from Zared, you know, because we're just mortals. Yeah, he's a god. It's so, tough. Yeah. I mean, we can only do so much of what he suggests. Yeah. True, man. Just, sometimes he just forgets that he's not an immortal. Yeah. <laughs> Zeratopia, yeah. <laughs> Zeratopolis, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Forged from the rock by the gods. Yo, don't be bringing up Fruitopia in this house, man. You can make me sad. Fruitopia? Yo, you don't even know, Matt. No, I don't. You were but a wee child. That's true, right? A Wait. true fruit drink to rival Snapple. Oh, okay. I, I know, know for the longest time there was still a machine that had a Fruitopia like ad on it uh, at my, I think that was at the community college somewhere one time. Maybe it was somewhere else, but I just remember every time I'd see it, I'd be like, lies! <laughs> Cry a little. <laughs> yeah. Let me see if I can find some, you know, 15-year-old cases on Amazon maybe someone has. Just chug them down like people do with Crystal Pepsi. Sure, man. <laughs> you do you. Whatever kills you, man. Whatever your poison is. That was salt, yes. Harvested from the saltiest Smash Bros players. <sighs> yeah. So, I gotta wait a few minutes, though, chat, so give me a sec. Um... Yeah, it'll give these like cool grainy things on the. Uh, yeah, it doesn't salt, quote unquote. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's cocaine. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it, definitely. It's free base cocaine. Uh, Look, he doesn't have the coke dealer robe on right now, though. I can put it on if you like. You need to whenever you do that uh, painting in the garage. Oh yeah, that's obviously. You that's... gotta have the coke dealer robe on. Well, that's a that's that's tiny monkey status. It's, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's given. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how do you think he gets through all these things? Just hit some cocaine real quick. You know, I've honestly asked myself the same thing a lot That's of the times. Right. How do I get through all this fucking shit? Yeah. It's the cocaine. Especially with all this, like, the, at this, the, the rate of which I can get paintings done. That's why his pinky nails are so long. <laughs> yeah, I guess those are longer these days. <laughs> How did you figure it out? How did you figure it out, Zared? Oh, makes sense. God. God, yeah. He's a god, yes. He is Aside a god. from being just shredded, he is a god. He can scry in on us whenever he feels like it. That's true. What's up? What, what did you find out there? Oh, he said, he said that's why you're slightly out of frame. I'm just spoon feeding you cocaine. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is correct. You caught us. Booger sugar knows nachos, angelic dust. <laughs> That's angel dust, Dave. PCP. <laughs> <laughs> White people love Wayne Brady. Because <laughs> he makes somebody look like Malcolm X. He said Brian Gumble. Brian, Brian Gumble like, like Malcolm, Malcolm X. X. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just love how he says this. Like, make Brian Gumble look like Malcolm X, huh, motherfucker? <laughs> yeah. It was Looney. <laughs> Like, man, I don't even write the jokes sometimes. I just... It was Mooney. I love that <laughs> shit. Oh, man. We were saying I'm Wayne Brady bitch for, like, months. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, years. That was just good. Yeah. Say thanks to Dave. Say thanks. Yeah. Dave, Dave Hose. Hose, Hose Dave. Dave. Hi, Dave. Love your show. <laughs> Thank, thanks, man. Thanks, Hose. <laughs> mm. 
man. Are you gonna be on that castle for a little bit? Longer? Yeah, just a little bit. I'm gonna grab a smaller white out pen while we wait for the salt to do its thing down there. Oren Brayton did some freestyle on the radio a while back. I gotta go find that. That sounds great. Yeah, Shatasha was the bomb. Oh man. It was too good. Oh yeah. Way too funny. It was just too damn funny. Quality of the jokes, much like the rent, was just too damn high. Too damn high. Yeah, my, one of my favorite ones was always the player haters ball. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like the time haters one, too. Oh, but yeah, the deleted one or yeah. whatever, when they went back in time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. We have time traveled to call you a cracker. <laughs> we have traveled time and space. <laughs> and then he meets like, his ancestor. Yeah, he's like, one of these slaves could be your ancestor, Bookmaster. Yeah, see someone who looks exactly like yeah, him. Yeah, he looks exactly like him. Yeah. <laughs> Now, if you excuse me, I gotta go put some water in Buck Nasty's mama's dish. <laughs> uh, that's good shit. My boy, Mr. Roboto, top player hater from Korea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good shit. That's good shit. The player hater's ball. I do love that bit on the SNL when Dave Chappelle came back and killed off all his characters. And... Oh yeah, that was amazing. He was like Negan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, from Walking Dead. That was so good. Yeah, that was like right after Trump got uh, elected, if I remember correctly. Somewhere in there. Yeah, because that was because when that happened, he was talking about uh, like uh, they did that whole bit with him and Chris Rock were watching the white people like watch the uh, Hillary lose the election. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, that justice system. <laughs> Our fault. <laughs> we were too. We wanted it too badly <laughs> with OJ. Yeah. I remember that shit too. That was a good game. Just a master of using whiteout. Pretty much, yeah. Although it does look kind of like you got a little nail polish thing or something. Too. I mean, <laughs> you know, that's what it look, that goes with the brush. That goes, reminds me of like nail polish. Yeah, look, that goes back to my days of working the street corners. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, look, that's man. Right. Look, man, I had to eat somehow. Man's got to eat, Julian. Man's got to eat. Well, apparently, D says this looks amazing too. Thank you. Appreciate it. Tell D we said hi. Hello, D. Turn around there, I missed a part. Boy, here. <laughs> Dia Brando, oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> She's got to cosplay Dio now, that's really good. <laughs>
I gotta get those elf shoes. Fucking love those. They're so dumb. <laughs> Hundred year old vampire villain wearing elf shoes. Rocky is a genius. Oh yeah. Exactly. You try to talk shit about his shoes, you're dead. It's true. Done. Okay. I think the salt should be good now to do this to it. Now, the salt doesn't really react too much to that purple because that purple is actually an ink rather than a watercolor pigment. But we still get some pretty cool here. Watch out. Yeah, if you don't destroy the entire thing. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. You know me, I gotta destroy everything I love. It's true. In order to create, you must destroy. Yeah. Oh, that looks great. Yeah, we're getting there. You know, it's weird. I actually might finish this piece before. Uh, it's because it's like it's weird. It's one of those things that where you have to like paint it. So I might actually finish this one on stream um, instead of doing you know like line art then going into it. Um, yeah, so. I mean it's only been about an hour. Yeah, yeah. watercolor is nice because it does go pretty quickly um, for the most part. Uh, I will probably have to go back and do some like, whiteout uh, slash some. I actually have brought out the paint. Uh, and the knives, and I might actually have to use the knives for the water mm. uh, effect up here. So we're we're gonna pull out my palette knives. Uh oh, is getting the knives? Uh, some nice Windsor Newton uh, Galleria Quirk. Now, not sponsored by Windsor Newton, but Windsor Newton, if you're out there, give us free paint, please. Uh, especially watercolor. Can I, can I get some watercolor? Watercolor, uh, specifically watercolors and washes. Windsor Newton, please. Yeah, please. Plus, plus. Take some free shirts too. Uh, yeah, if you got them. Just... Free shirts, free uh, hats, free hats. Just look, free, free, uh, free whatever free you got. Face masks, just... free belts. I'll take it. Yeah, look, look, man. I free whatever you got, whatever you got yeah. to give. Yeah, we'll take it. You guys got paint money? Hook it up. 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 Play it off. shape of this real quick because this is another reason why i'm going to need the paint because uh, i'm going to draw these characters and i need to make sure that the water looks like it's properly going around it mm. makes sense because uh, you know you have flat no 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 did you know One of the nice things about watercolor is watercolor is a pretty forgiving medium. Watercolor ink, mm. you know, it's just paint over top of it. Um, oil also pretty forgiving. I think the only thing that's not very forgiving in terms of medium is acrylic, because uh, you have to work very fast with acrylic. Mm. Is that just because it dries real quick or whatever? Yeah, it dries very quickly and it doesn't blend very well. Oh, okay. Watercolor, um, you can blend pretty easily. And then uh, it also has, um, you know, it stays wet for a little longer. And even if it does, you can always just paint over top of it. Mm. Acrylic, uh, you can paint over top as well. It just, when it, after a certain while, it just gets so heavy because you just keep, you know, layering over layering over layering over layering on that stuff. And it just it eventually just doesn't look good. Whereas with this, you can kind of just, you know, wash is also pretty good too. Wash is pretty, is pretty forgiving as well. Wash is nice because that makes really good flat, uh, flat colors. So if, like, you know, like how this is really translucent. Mm -hmm. uh, they make very flat, opaque colors. Oh, okay. Okay, I believe you. 
Appreciate it. <laughs> no, I just love that Kingdom Hearts video. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's great. So I'm going to have some... The reason, uh, if you're wondering, one of the things I decided to do, it kind of, I kind of decided this in the middle of the piece. Uh, I was going to have um, some of these uh, stone statues kind of cut off by uh, foreground... I saw that. Rock. And the reason I'm going for that look is it. I feel like it adds a bit of atmosphere to it. Mm -hmm. uh, whenever I'm, whenever you do uh, illustrations or uh, setting pieces and things like that, I think it's very important um, to make sure you can establish a foreground, a middle ground, and a background. So, uh, like case in point, the foreground is these two big rocks here. Mm -hmm. um, the cliff, the cliff side or whatever. Yeah. yeah, the middle ground is actually going to be this boat that's going to be right here. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the background is going to be this waterfall with the uh, castle looming in the background. Mm -hmm. uh, and as you can see here, you also have like this effect of water kind of splashing up uh, as the waterfall kind of comes crashing down, as well as uh you know the essential like kind of fog and mist that comes up with a, a waterfall mm. so but we're gonna get down into the nitty gritty on these people real quick because once again as i said this one's gonna be tough because i need to also make it look like the water's coming over top of it but we'll we're gonna work on it together chat do this what are you looking for i was doing size brush Uh, notably, notably, I'm choosing to go with the same purple because I want it to match the stone of this part right here. We passed the hour mark a couple minutes ago. Nice. I'd like to thank everyone for coming out. Yeah, appreciate y'all. Hanging out with us, spending some time, watching Matt paint crazy giant statues and waterfalls and stuff. Yeah. And shit like that. I appreciate y'all if you're if you're learning anything from how I when I sometimes kinda of go around and talk about why I'm doing certain things, what does what and all that stuff. I appreciate it. Uh for I guess listening to the rants. Art rant. Yeah. But I know I ranted last time when some people were talking about like comics and how like there's those people that like, just kind of rely solely on digital. And I was like, gosh, gosh, <laughs> let me tell you, Chad. It's also um interesting too, is some of the people who do really good illustrations, but the comics themselves aren't good. Um I remember this being a thing in college where um animators, people who do animation do really good comics. Uh, but people who do illustrations don't always do very good comics. And that being because um, animation obviously comes from a very more animated thing, so the character's moving all the time, and they have better anatomy, and better uh, understanding of framing and shots, as opposed to uh, illustrators. So I always thought that was interesting, that how it always seemed to come up, is that uh, the animated people who are doing animation, they would also do comics, and you're like, man, these comics are really good. Like, they're better than most of the people who are doing comics in the actual class itself, too. It was fun. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, a comic is kind of like a movie. It's yeah. It's more like a movie. Yeah, comics are... Uh, a lot, uh, the, the joke was a comic is a lazy man's animation for a long time. Mm. Which, it's rude, but kind of true. <laughs> like, you're like, well, that's fucked up, man. Don't say that. But you're right, though. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah, Jamie says, what's more sequential than 24 drawings a second? Yeah, exactly. How about 25 drawings a second? Oh, oh that's, shit. That's more. No. <laughs> it's fucked up, man. <laughs> Why you gotta be so rude? Because I'm evil. Oh, yeah, we already knew that. That's but... why. That's why I have to be rude. 
It's in my genes. Gene Simmons? Yeah. Actually, I'm not wearing jeans right now. So, I guess it's not in my jeans. These aren't jeans. Oh, they're not. You're right. No, these are, um, oh, I forgot what these pants are called. Chinos or something like that. Damn, man, you live like that. I know. I do live like that. My jeans are in the hamper. Uh, them later. Makes sense. Makes sense. My jeans are in the genetic cesspool that is America. Damn player. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to <laughs> no, say. That. No. I was like, yeah, man, that fucking blows, I guess. Like, I don't know what you want from me. You found a pair of jeans in your laundry hamper? You didn't know you had? I like to think that one she didn't even buy. Yeah. They're someone, just there. Yeah, someone else's or some shit like that. Mysterious, uh, you know, gene fairy gifted them to her. Yeah, I can Something see that. Like that. Yeah. That makes sense. I believe sort that. Sort of mystical thing. I mean, let's go with the simplest explanation here. Gnomes? Magic. Oh, okay. Yeah, magic. Or aliens. Aliens. Either or. That pick, was, pick it. That was the theme of Spooky House last night was aliens. That's true. It was Jojo meets the thing meets Lost Skeleton of Cadaver. Yeah. Oh, you didn't see? She didn't pay for them anyway. So yeah, so they, they magically appeared. Been there, man. Done. That's how I got. Um, what is it? Uh, I got a second pair of pants for that pants uh, for that suit. No, oh, yeah, that's right. They gave you more pants. Yeah, it was funny. They're like, "What the fuck, man? Where's the suit? Where's the pants? Where's the pants?" And then they gave me a spare pant. Yeah, because cause they gave you the pants with no jacket, right? The yeah, first time. yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna run and get a drink real quick. All right. And a coffee. Yeah, I still got some in there. No, that's it's empty. It's just foam. Oh, well, it looks like liquid. Oh, it does. Uh, probably just the foam just probably just went down and liquidated. It's fine. Okay. okay. Well, if you're not gonna drink it. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter what it is. I will hit you if chat says you won't. But they're gonna just say it anyway. No, they won't. I believe them. They're honest. It's fucked up, chat. Why you always gotta do this to me? I don't know if you can hear them, Jeff, but they're just like going off on me. Uh... Hey, man, I can hear you. That's good. You know coming. Hold on, I gotta get John John real quick. All right, let's do this. Oh, shit. All right, it's gaining time. It's Britney, bitch. <laughs> it's Britney, bitch. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! See, now this time, though, I'm smart, because now he can't just go, uh, at me. Oh, you're right. Yeah. He's, he's a clever girl. Oh, oh, hey, bro. <laughs> I think he attacked my phone there. Yeah. <laughs> Someone clipped that. That was great. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie, Dossie. <laughs> Don't worry, you can just buy me a new phone. It's not broken, but you should buy me a new one. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm suing for whiplash. For whiplash. Uh, suing for whiplash. Yeah. Chat could sue for whiplash. <laughs> yeah, right. Probably, yeah. <laughs> the 3D IMAX. Yeah, exactly. I hope everyone had their 3D glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. That was.
was uh yeah no i like last night we were playing spooky house and we went to fight and <laughs> i came in here and got those yeah yeah we yeah. just started fighting irl yeah i still lost oh man you got destroyed that was fucking hilarious yeah no that was bad barely hung on yeah you're like, all right, I'm gonna roll. It was like a three, and then I'm like seven. <laughs> yeah, it's because like uh, I think it's because we rolled. Uh, it's because my uh, I kept the wrong stat. Like I was talking to Ellen about how she uh, shouldn't go into speed, get rid of her speed stat, but my character's speed stat already was just really low. Yeah, it's weird, like trying to figure out how to play that game because you never play the same game twice usually. No, since the uh, the haunt is different a lot of times. Yeah. I was talking with Devin about that. We were just talking like. Because I was saying that when you, when me and Sabrina were in the garden with you, I should have just killed Sabrina so she could automatically turn into an alien. But I just didn't know how, like, I was trying to coordinate with her across the table, but we couldn't get it going. And then I was like, yeah, I should have just stabbed her because her stats were so low. She could have just taken it in speed because she wasn't going to do anything else. So then she could have turned into an alien and then just jumped you also. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and that or we could have just ran away and let y'all die to the virus. Yeah. And won. Then I kept hoping to infect you every time we swapped. I know, that was just I funny. was so mad. I'm like, fucking A. I have the best luck, man. I don't know what to tell you, man. Cheating ass bitch. I don't know what to tell you, man. I just got good luck. You gotta have something, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man. I'll take what I can get. Yeah, tabletop game. We're playing, um, was it the official name is Betrayal at the House on the Hill, I think? Yeah. We just call it Spooky House. I'll, I'll link it to you real quick. It's really fun. You're just like a group of investigators. You're investigating like a haunted house. And then at some point, it turns out one of you is a traitor. And so you don't really play the same game twice much. Because no. also the rooms you find are random. So you can go from, you know, the each game you'll find the rooms in a different order and things like that. Or you'll find rooms you didn't find last game. Yeah. You can find items and events and power-ups you didn't find last game. Stuff like that. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, it's a really casual game, too. It's a fun casual game. Anyone can learn to play it. Yeah. It's, it's a pretty beginner uh, level game. It's pretty... Yeah, it is very beginner friendly. Yeah. It's beginner friendly, but it's also really fun. Yeah. So even if you play a lot of tabletop games, you won't be like, Oh, this is boring. This is a baby game, you know? <laughs> oh, that, you were going to be like that only with your Shane. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, well, that's a Shane thing. That's a dick move, man. <laughs> Oh, this is the water? Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah, that was good. That's really cool. Yeah, I'm just trying to make it look a bit more ethereal. Mm-hmm. I mean, you might just have to find the right board game. <laughs> there actually are chutes and ladders. They're in the rooms. There's a there's a room you can flip that's a coal chute where you just automatically fall to the basement. Oh, you can never pay attention during the rules. Yeah, well, the rules for this game aren't very complicated, so I, I guess maybe when you get to the haunt, they can be a little bit, because yeah. that's when the actual game kind of starts. Yeah, when we get to the haunt, that's usually when I'm like, okay, I'm going to go take a nap, because <laughs> that takes a while to explain. And I'm usually, and like, it, even though, for as long as it takes to explain, it's super simple, and it just, I, I don't know what to tell you. It just always frustrates me how, like, how long the haunt usually takes to get going. 
Oh, just reading through it yeah. or whatever? Uh, yeah, it, it can be a bit, but I think it's fun. Usually, you end up getting uh, split up. So it's kind of cool. Whoever's the traitor, there's a whole book of what they're supposed to do, and then whoever like the rest of the people are. So that way, uh, sometimes... Um, so like if you turned into a monster or something... The explorers might not know your powers and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, again, that stuff's cool. It's just that, like, the the frustrating aspect for me is just like, okay, now we have to wait a bit to get to the actual part where we can play again. <laughs> Jamie says that she helps someone uh, working on board games for, like, intro game design. And if she could win, then they knew the game was broken. <laughs> Damn, that's fucked up, but... <laughs> It's fucked up. No, there should be games where anyone can win. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It just depends on what you want your game to be about. Yeah, yeah, I just think that's funny. He's just going to say it like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now we're going to move on to these ones over here. Hey, Setsuko, what's up? Hey, man. Not working on the comic today, but we are working on some other work I have to finish up. Yeah, we have a like book of fantasy illustrations that we've been working on uh, through most of the year and uh, some of last year, right, I think? or No, it's just been this year. It's entirely this year? Okay, yeah. I couldn't remember. Because I think we were talking about it some last year, but yeah, yeah, then just... we started on it at the beginning of this year. So we usually do one stream for that during the week, and while we're doing this comic, we're doing uh, two streams. Yep. For comics yeah this comic also is nice too because it's uh, about 10 pages left and then i'm done uh with the inks and then the rest of it will be digital uh work that needs to be done with the typesetting and all that good stuff thanks yeah it's looking really good it's really cool it's uh like city castle kind of up on a waterfall and then there are these cool statues that are going to be there these watercoloring them in and then i'm guessing you're going to ink over them and yeah then i'm going to also use some white out as well uh white yeah. paint for texture and stuff yeah yeah to make them look real stone like rocky yeah good mm -hmm. but yeah we'll be doing more comics uh saturday is gonna be our next comic one yeah basically mondays and saturdays are the comic day if mm -hmm. you want to mark your calendars and things like that so you can see what's up what's up there mm -hmm. how's your comic going i remember you said you were working on one yeah yeah I'm interested to see because I know you were doing like a mecha series. Uh, did you actually also get a uh, start a barrage with questions? But did you also get a chance to look at uh, Thunderbolt, uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt? I don't want to say Thunderbolt because that'll trigger Jamie to being like <gasps> Thunderbolt Fantasy. Oh no, my Chinese puppet boys. I don't think they were Chinese, were they? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I know it's a Japanese show, but I thought it was. Well, I guess it's set in like a fantasy thing. That's not entirely Chinese. Yeah, either way. Yeah. <laughs> she says that actually happens. So. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Yeah, we just like always, uh, Finding out what everyone's up to while we're here since it's tough to meet everyone in person now, you know? Yeah, it's true. That does make it difficult. And uh, just in general, too, it's always fun seeing what else everyone's up to. I mean, like, mm -hmm. we're do you obviously already know what we're up to. I mean, it's cool to see what everyone else is doing, how everyone's doing, if everyone's got some crazy story that happened to them, or... Definitely. Okay, they said they did look at it for shading, and they've got some pages in draft. Nice. And uh, some layouts ready for a bunch of other ones. It'll be traditional until they move over to digital. Nice, nice. Love to hear it. I don't remember. Um, I believe we asked you, where are you at, if you don't mind? We're wondering kind of where everyone's at from the stream. Because we have some people that we've been talking with who were, like, from England, too. So... Because most of the people we we know in person, oh, you're from Arizona. Oh, That's nice. Cool. 
That's, um, I think that's uh, where Mobius had his uh, peyote trip. <laughs> Uh, for those of you who don't know who Mo Mobius is, Mobius is a very famous com comic artist. Uh, he did a lot of uh, really crazy uh, fantasy worlds, and a lot of the stuff he did, they were all take place in like these desert worlds. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, Arizona sounds like a pretty prime peyote uh, country. There. Because it, if I remember correctly, he went specifically into the painted desert. So, and, uh, for this uh, the story, this this mythos of mm. Mobius. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, but I always forget that you're actually from Louisiana because we usually see you at like Houston cons. Yeah, actually, that's true. I and, uh, I completely and Dallas I, too. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, I totally thought you were from Houston. Yeah, huh. I forgot about that. Huh. Yeah, you learned something new. It's like how Amanda is from Arkansas. Yeah, we always see her at Houston con at, uh, at Dallas, Texas cons. Yeah. yeah, we see her in Dallas usually. Yeah. So. Or Corbin was from Oklahoma. Yeah, he's moving to Dex Texas soon, though, so that's going to be nice. Mm -hmm. You pay people in gumbo? Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. I don't know if I ever got a chance to tell you this, Corbin. Uh, no, uh, uh, no, but my, uh, my, my mom's side of the family is all from Louisiana. Um, my uh, grandpa is uh, uh, full-blooded Cajun French. Uh mm -hmm. And yeah, what was the story with the gators or whatever? Yeah, my uh, my my mom, uh, her uh, her great uncle uh, owned a, a little plot of land that uh, she uh, that he had pet gators on uh, that he just kept as his pets. Or, and uh, yeah, watch out! Watch out! Uh, and my mom uh, went to one of their little like shindigs where they had gumbo. You know, and everyone got together, and she was like five or something like that. And she saw the gators, and the gators thought it was time to be fed. And my mom was, started screaming, and she was just like, these gators want to eat me. And my uh, great-great-uncle, he was just like, oh, child, them gators don't want to eat you. Hold on, let me get my gun. <laughs> and he pulls out like a little salt rock pistol, and then this just like shoots the gators, and the gators are like, ah, shit, fuck, shit. <laughs> That's why I refuse to eat gator, because gators are pets. <laughs> gators are pets, chat. It's, uh... A hard that's a hard stance I take, <laughs> and I don't take hard stances on most things. You heard it here, chat. Gators, pets. Gators are not food; they are my friends. <laughs> Even when they're eating me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who better than your friends to consume you? Honestly. Yeah, at least you know where you're going. Yeah. That's it. Don't let the worms take the honor. Yeah. Why would I want worms to eat me when I can have a gator eat me? That's true. That's a way more intense like way to die. It's like how in the uh, the Japanese version of the ring, the, instead Late, of jumping yeah. off the cliff like she does in the American one, she jumped into a volcano. Yeah, it's fucking metal. Yeah, that's metal. Like you have to climb that volcano and shit. Yeah. It's commitment. It is, yeah. What's up? He says they had gator one time on a trip. The food vendor told him it was chicken. But then later he's like, bet you didn't know that was gator. Fucker. <laughs> I hope that wasn't Bubba. Right. <laughs> I always love that, that, that the joke is like, Bubba! You know? Like, yeah. Any Cajun fucking thing. Everything, that, there's always something named Bubba. Gotta have him. Mm-hmm. I'm going to let these dry for a second here, uh, mainly because I do want to color over them a bit. Uh, I'm going to probably use a bit of marker, actually, for those, um, just because I have a bit more control over that. Now over here, though, let's get some white out going to get this lovely fog effect, the mist that we're going to have down here. Thank you. 
It is weird that the food vendor would just try to trick you like that. That is a bit weird, yeah, actually, now that I'm thinking about That's that. That's, like, really weird. Uh, what if I had allergies gator meat? <laughs> I guess you're just dead. <laughs> You just you're just dead, man. You're just now gonna become a dead man head. That's it. You're done for. Yeah. You know, you didn't know. You know, I was gator intolerant. You know, that's it. I, mean, I know you're. Over. I know you're intolerant, but you know. <laughs> well, like gluten intolerance. You know? No, I know. I'm just making a joke. Yeah. yeah. We, well, like the so much for the tolerant left. I love saying that. That shit's so funny. Yeah. Yeah, this is that fucking Captain America punching the Red Skull with like his Nazi outfit on yeah, and yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so good. Oh yeah, that's great. It was a very JoJo moment. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise! You've activated my stand by eating Gator. <laughs> it's done. You know. <laughs> Would not be shocked if that was somehow related to a stand. My stand, Crocodile Rock. <laughs> I'm gonna need a moment, chat. Hold on, let me just get John's honor to start beating the shit out of him for that one. Bro, that's a sweet stand name, though. It is a sweet stand name, though, but you're still getting beat. Oh shit, Later Gator? Yeah, that's a good one, too. Not doing it a roller gator. Oh no. Dude, that movie is dope. We need to watch that. No. <laughs> we really don't. Dude, trust me, man. Roller gator. We 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 really, really do not. I I can assure you, we do not. You don't want to hear the same guitar playing for like 90 minutes? No! <laughs> no, I do not! Dude, that song that movie's so good, it only needs one song for the soundtrack. <laughs> No! <laughs> well, Sabrina says you can't use John's honor because you lost it to Ellen. Damn, you're right. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, shit. How's it going, Sabrina? <laughs> Ellen, quick, lend me your honor. <laughs> She's the one keeping John's honor safe now. Yeah, right. Yeah, shit. All right, we're good, we're good. That was just my uh, pro compass, this thing. Whatever it's called. There we go. Your circle cheaty thing. Yeah, yeah, circle cheaty thing. Okay, well let's, let's get a little bit into this. Ride. Almost like a ride. Yeah, that's a good song. Bro. Yeah, it is. Hey, must be T What's also nice about this type of stuff too is um, doing art like this is, is it's a good showcase on the fact that you know uh, a lot of people have oh, I don't know about a lot but I've had a lot of um, experience with people talking about the specific media you choose to use um, reflects on if you're you know a real artist or not so a lot of people kind of look down on using things like markers or you know non digital media things like that and I just you know you know I'm like oh, I'm just gonna do what I want to do. Yeah, right. I mean, you can use, like, anything for art, pretty much. Yeah, art's all about the experience of self-expression. As long as you feel like you're getting your voice out there, you're doing some art. There's a decent amount of chalk art hiding around the neighborhood. There from is. From kids, yeah. yeah. Like, I uh, see every once in a while when I'm out on a walk. We'll just have something derpy drawn on the sidewalk and they're like St and then it says like stay safe or something like yeah. that you know yeah i remember those those are cute
A lot of things that you learn in art school that you need to actually unlearn, which is very interesting, I feel. So whenever you go to school or go be taught or taught a specific way to do art, because, you know, you have to learn the basics, and I feel like that's still important and all that. But there's a port uh, where you kind of stop uh, listening to that voice in your head that tells you what you're supposed to be doing. And uh, you kind of listen to the people around you too much, and you kind of lose a little bit. I think that's good that I kind of am branching out here and there, trying to find a, you know, find my own way. You gotta find your voice. Yeah, find my own voice in art. That's what they usually call that. Yeah. I think it's important to people, you know, while you're watching this and you're getting inspired and think that, oh, I should try this, that, and the other, then I think we're doing a good job here. Lesson one, microns don't last that long. They do not. That's funny. They do not, yeah. That is a, that is a, what do they call that? That is a, that is an investment <laughs> sink, not a long-term investment. That's the fun stripe gum of pens. Oh my God. No, that's that what we, fucking zebra shit. Oh my god. That's what we call a hashtag mood. Oh my god. That's a mood, don't you know? Oh man. That zebra gum. It's shit, man. Gum is shit. I might just zoom back out since you're going everywhere. I like how his face is up though. Yeah. I don't know how that gum is still in business, man. I don't know either. I don't know. Zebras are cool, I guess. I mean, yeah, I got nothing against zebras. Just their gum. I mean, I feel like that's the only reason why they're in business, because kids see the zebra and just want to go, Mommy, Mommy, look! A zebra! I like zebras. It's true. Gotta have that zebra gum. Yeah. That'll be sometimes. Like, the second you taste the flavor, it's already gone. Yeah. I don't know how that happens. I don't know either, man. Yeah. It's legitimately, like, some, uh... Piss to the North Star, you're already dead shit. <laughs> like, that's the flavor's already gone, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kentro, no, my gum. Don't do it, man. It's already gone. I have a heart. Yeah, right. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I was wondering how you're gonna make them look more, you know, in front of the water. Because it looked like they were behind the water for yeah, most yeah. of the time. It's, it's really good because it's super accurate. That's a perfect way to, like, that's one of those, uh, you know, ways to describe a thing. Like, like what is it, Mike does that for characters where he'll say he's the Gary Oak of the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember he said that about Death the Kid. Yeah. It's like, he's just the Gary Oak of Soul Eater. It's like, oh, shit. He's right. He's fucking right. He's got the hose. Yep. Had the hose. Famous relative. Mm -hmm. Was a badass. Yeah. Like, perfectly fit the bill. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, he had a vehicle also. Yeah, had a vehicle. Had a vehicle. Yep. Skateboard, but you know, it's still a vehicle. It's still there. Yeah. And we never got our skateboard. And that was, uh, you know, in the alleged uh, promise of gold and silver. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember that. It was supposed to be a skateboard you could get. Yeah. The Lies. It was in the manga? Uh, I think so, right? Yeah, it was. Isn't that character, that character has, like, some art with skateboards. He, he does have a skateboard. There's actually a whole part where he actually uses the skateboard to help yeah. him catch some Pokemon. Yeah, because that was like the rumor was that you were going to have a skateboard instead of a bike. Yeah. Lies. <laughs> well, aren't you already, though? Why are you asking? Yeah, what now? <laughs> Zero said, how does one become the Gary Oak of real life? <laughs> I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> oh. Like, bro, you are the Gary Oak of real life. Yeah, man. Like, come on. Come on, man. Fucking Adonis. Yeah. Got a car. Just 
Straight shredded, yeah. I'm sure you've got famous relatives. Yeah. That's, we're putting we're putting uh, Zared on Gary Oak status. Yeah, yeah. That's it. He's trying to be modest. I'm thinking he wasn't already the Gary Oak of real life. See, look at this. Not only is he just shredded and godlike, he, he's also humble. Yeah, like a true god. He's also humble. <laughs> Zary Oak. <laughs> Who said that? No. <laughs> nice. Dang, I kind of want to see this picture now. <laughs> Zary, that's Gary Oak. 20 bucks, Wes, and I'll do it. 20 bucks? Oh, what, you just going to do his face? For yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. But... Yeah, just a little face picture real quick. <laughs> nah, man, your mind tricks won't work on me. I know I'm thinking of you. <laughs> I know I'm thinking of you. Oh, Lord, y'all. <laughs> y'all are wild. Yep, no, that's you. I remember you vividly. 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 Very much so vividly. A man who, a man who haunts my every waking moment. <laughs> Oh, I was trying to figure out how I want to do this portion here. Mm, okay. And no, Zara, you're just burned into my memory. No mistaking. That's it. Please. I knew him but a short time in my youth, but not once did I forget him. <laughs> Oh, only good memories. Just like any time I think of uh, something done with Terrorist Anthony. Oh, Terrorist Anthony. <laughs> with my dick? With his dick? <laughs> I fucking love that shit. Looking solid, looking solid. It was the beard, that's that's, that's why everyone just called him that. He's Hispanic too, actually. I just love it. No, Zara knows who Anthony is. Oh, I mean... Oh, this is Zara, yeah, Duncan. Oh, I thought it was the chat. No, 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 yeah. The meme does not do him justice. Yeah, right. I remember, what was it? Uh, there was one point when he, we met him at the uh, one of the cons, and he had done the, like, little man bun, top bun thing, and he still oh, had yeah. his beard and everything, and I was like, bro, I'm digging this Mandarin cosplay. <laughs> like Iron Man 3 had just come yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm digging this. <laughs> he just shut the fuck up, Wes. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, that was fucked up. I loved it. <laughs> you did. You looked just like him. <laughs> yeah, you did, yeah. You did. It's not the Mandalorian. It's Manchurian BTS. 
I thought I said Mandar- Mandarian. Or I, I oh, definitely no, said it wrong. No, it was not the Manchurian. It's the Mandarin. Yeah, oh, Mandarin. Yeah. You said Mandalorian. Did I say Mandalorian? Yeah. I don't know which one I said anymore. That's what happened when I don't know my Gojers. But yeah, it was just like the villain from Iron Man 3, who wasn't the actual villain. Yeah, yeah. He looked like Ben Kingsley. He did. That's it. He looked just like Ben Kingsley. You're right. Yeah, Mandarin, Mandalorian, Mandarin, yeah, whatever. I'll say all of them. Chad has to figure it out which one. Leave it to chat. They've got this. Chad will figure it out in the end. Chad always knows. The Mandalorian candidate. <laughs> Perfect. I think that's it, chat. I think we got there. I can just see that. Like, they've got the suit, but they have the helmet on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Loud organization stream here. Sorry. That's what we're all about. I just needed to get that taken care of. Or else, like, I just, it's one of those things. It's one of those things, man. You it's know. one of those things. It's one of those things. It's one of those things, man. Yeah. I, gotta, I gotta clean every once in a while. To make sure that I can properly focus on what I'm trying to do here. Okay. I'm still gonna need these colored pencils. The actual last portion of it. Still that there. I don't need these ones anymore because these are water soluble. You gotta pull out all of your stuff because you never know what you're gonna need. Yeah, I know. It's rough. <laughs> <sighs> Mess with you, I know you are. I just I'm being I'm being hard on myself, guys. You gotta oh, be hard damn. on yourself every once in a while. Oh damn! How else are you gonna grow? Fuck. Okay. I don't know, man. Don't harden too much or become a level 100 metapod. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do it. You become unable to evolve. Mm -hmm. You don't want that. Plus not the blade. Like I said, it does not matter what you use. Just make sure it looks good in the end. You want it to be readable, easy to understand for the what you're looking at as the viewer. Hmm? Uh, I looked on the little tablet here and it was like saying it ended. I was like, oh, if it's just stream it ended, you need to refresh that shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And also, just remember too, if you're using acrylic paint, a little goes a long way. Especially if you're using a blade. I know this, this is why I like blades. Uh, for painting a lot a little bit better than brushes I get a little better texture out of them and I can spread a lot more paint out across the uh, piece what you're saying is it's always best to study the blade sure when it comes to art obviously, uh, obviously that's what obviously. I'm saying yeah I'm just saying that this is how I like to do it you can do whatever you want Chad this is your world Bob Ross real quick here Bob Ross. We're gonna get a squirrel. Yeah. Hey man. <laughs> get that tail of squirrel that's out there. <laughs> right? I haven't seen him. I wonder where he's at. I hope he's okay. He's off fulfilling the prophecy. Yeah. Obviously. He's Obviously. the chosen squirrel. Obviously.
to some pretty good water. Your water game has improved. I'm going to show the water how much I love it. Right. The ocean says yes. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I must make this water as fuckable as possible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or else, what was the fucking point? What was the point? And for those of you wondering, I did not forget the ship. It's just gotta come last. <laughs> Bet you there was people who were wondering that, so it's gonna come. Point out that I did not forget. I was not a Rocky. I did not forget. Hey man, he never forgets. To kill. To kill. Yeah. Never once. No. Never once forgot to kill a character off. Never once forgets to kill the dog. Never once. If you're a dog in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, watch out. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I think there's an interview where he mentions that, like stuff like that. He's like, just cause, it's because it's like the easiest way to show someone is just evil. Mm -hmm. It's to have them like harm an animal, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. Especially dogs. That's like evil 101. Who put this puppy in my path? Yeah, exactly. Dead. I am now the main villain. I mean, if it works, it works, though. Yeah. You do usually immediately know that they're the villain. Yeah. There's usually no, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. Usually there is not. Someone just goes out of their way to kill an adorable dog. This dog is adorable. I'm gonna kill it. Yeah. I'm evil. <laughs> I am evil. <laughs> but you thought I might be good? <laughs> evil. 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 And it's so easy when you're evil. That's reminded me of some of those posts from like after Toonami aired the uh, first the first episode of JoJo. Oh Remember? yeah, yeah, yeah. That one post that was like, I can tell that Dio's gonna end up in Jonathan's right hand. Yeah, man. they're gonna be buddies. <laughs> they're they're gonna, gonna be buddies. It's gonna be like a Sasuke Naruto situation. I was like, ha 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 ha. Oh, you poor sweet summer child. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> oh, you poor, poor buffoon. You see me working on a ship? Yes. I got a rosy. That in the post where they were like, I can't believe Toonami got the rights to the meme. Yeah, that fucking shit. Oh, man. When they thought that they had the rights to the fucking the meme. To be continued, yeah. That yeah. was from that. Yeah. Like, Toonami put the meme in, bro. That's wild, man. How do they do that? How do you, get the, how do you get the rights to a meme like that, man? Yeah, it's crazy. crazy, man. It's such a high-profile meme, too. They must have paid out the ass. Man, must have. Just, it's just rough, man. Uh, insane is what I would use. Yeah. It's tough out here, man. It really is.
You're gonna draw a shape and marker? Yeah, it just needs to be a shape, uh, like a color, basically. Mm -hmm. Break some more fingers quick. Mm -hmm. Breaking in so we can break out. Breaking in so we can break out. Song is like the best part of the PS5 anime. Ugh, anime's so bad. It's terrible. It's trash. Fucking miserable, man. It's okay. You might as well just watch someone play the game, though. Yeah. It's like exactly the same. For sure. At least the parts I remember. Mm -hmm. But I did like how like there'd be a lot of different stuff in the P4 anime. Mm -hmm. They'd like showcase things you didn't actually like see. Yeah. That are like just kind of hinted at in the game. Mm-hmm. I'm just watching you and piece those together. Pirates of the Caribbean 23 confirmed. Hell yeah. Nice. <laughs> It'll be in Kingdom Hearts 7. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Ah. <laughs> be in there with Frozen 6. Big Hero 9. <laughs> disgusting. Oh, so disgusting. Toy Story 16. <laughs> it's awful chat. Why would you say something so mean? <laughs> Ooh, even. Well, that Pirates of the Caribbean thing goes in though. Incredibles 2.9. <laughs> Final mix. <laughs> That's great. Is that movie any good? Oh, the second Incredibles movie? Yeah. I have no idea. 
Chad, does anyone know if the Incredibles movie was a, the second one was good? I don't remember hearing much about it, so I can only assume it was just meh. Yeah, I've only seen the first one like one time even. First one's pretty good. Yeah, I didn't say I didn't like it. No, I'm just telling you it is. Mm -hmm. I'm making a statement. Check. Nova says it's all right. Mm -hmm. That sounds about right. Doesn't meet our A plus or F minus criteria. So therefore, we're not. We'll just watch that. Deathbed again. <laughs> oh God, no! That sound mixing is so <laughs> bad. Can we not? <laughs> God, can we watch like? I'd rather watch more episodes of like uh, fucking Kage Star or some shit. Like, can we do that? <laughs> Please. Dude, we can always watch more Kage Star. Actually, I don't know if there are any more episodes yet. Damn it. That's my only thing. Kage stop. Kage stop. Bell stop. Bell stop. Sung by Mr. Hannah's song, so you know it's good. Yep, but I know it's good. Mizuki on the track. It's just them realizing Jack Jack has powers and it's okay. All right, that's a solid summary. Yeah, because I remember there was like a part where, her, um, where the mom got a job or something like that, and that's like that's from the trailers and stuff. So I didn't know if that was actually any importance to the plot or anything like that. It made it kind of seem like it was. I don't know. Got nothing. Got nothing. Got nothing. Just past the two hour mark. Thanks for everyone. Thanks to everyone for uh, sticking with us. Yeah, we're almost done. This is looking great. The June bugs want one in. Demanding my rent. They want a piece of the action. The cat's been pretty good. Yeah, it's because uh, I think both Ellen and Sabrina are here. Yeah, we didn't have to throw up his uh, emote in the chat. Yeah, we have a new emote for Marker anytime he yeah, wants blood. Let's see, let's see. It should be in here. I gotta find it. Oh, I thought I had it. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Cat right here. Cat wants blood. Okay. Yeah, it says if you watch the trailer, you're good. Really? That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Also, that this looks good. Thanks. Yeah, this looks sweet. I like this a lot. Like I said, I think it's cool more of these pieces you've been doing, like, moving away from, like, just a character. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, again, your old art, you know, all your prints were, like, a one, were, like, a character full body or a character's full body. Well, yeah, because that's what sells at, sells at, like, anime cons. Like, that's... Well, I mean... It was doing okay, and then yeah. you know you started like moving in, and then we started to do other stuff, and then you started to use different media and things like that. Yeah. So it's just like cool to watch a change, you know, like you did just the line art, and then you color everything digitally. Yeah. Now you just don't color a lot of stuff digitally lately. Yeah, it's so, so fucking tedious. God, it is. I just I don't enjoy it, so I try to avoid things I don't enjoy. Life's short, chat. Do whatever makes you happy. Mm hmm. Yeah, so I just, you know, it's only been a couple of years, but it's, like, completely different now. Yeah, that's why, uh, that's why whenever, uh, I play card games or any kind of game or do anything, I just don't give a fuck anymore. I'm just like, look, I like, <laughs> I like what I like. I can't, I can't be bothered to give a fuck anymore. It's just too tiring. <laughs> like, my, like, my, my friend has a really good piece of advice to y'all chat. Uh, she always says, life is too short to claim you don't like pop music. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. That's funny. You should just admit you like it. It's That's popular funny. for a reason. Like, Bernie Spears, a lot of bops. Just gonna throw that out there. Like I'm sick. Are you okay over there? You're just like karate posing at me. Well, I still have the Kage Star theme stuck in my head now. Right, so well. I'm like, you know, I'm out by the airport fighting right now real quick before the next plane comes in. Right, right, right. So...
I'm gonna hop on my really dumb uh, motorcycle thing and you know chase a jeep down that has the villain in it. Of course, naturally. Yeah, like you do, as one tends to do, you know. I love that fucking henchman. Kageo. Kageo. Kageo, like that. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Down like it appears. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna say that this is it. This is done. Yeah, it looks good. Definitely a interesting choice for peace. Mm -hmm. uh, let's just pull this off. You guys get some tape ASMR. If I can actually find the fucking ends of this tape. Nope, you'll never find it. I never will. Cursed forever. <laughs> Beneath the tape was tape. It's like the P4, but beneath the meat is more meat. Oh shit. There's a video of someone like actually uh, uh, making that bowl. Oh really? Yeah, and like eating it or something. Oh yeah, man, that crazy. sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, that's like this backwards meow with the cat that he did. That's great. That's like, you know, it's like, a, you know, hey, you better not look. You son of a bitch. <laughs> What? No, 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 God, why? Uh, I thought we were done. It doesn't matter. No chat. <laughs> That's the mirror cat meow. It's like the cat from the house. Yeah. Uh, although this, the cat in the picture is from a movie called The Cat. It's a Hong Kong movie from the 90s. It's great and it involves aliens. Find a trailer for it real quick. I'll send it. Cause that cat looks just like uh it looks pretty close to Marker, I think. I think kind of. Yeah, it's pretty close. Depends on the cat. It's a little fluffier in the movie than it is in the poster, I think. Yeah. Has like a JoJo-esque fight scene also between the cat and the dog. There we are. I get like a trailer to this movie. The only thing I see is like this part that's the cat, that's the fight scene. Yeah. Well, that's probably all you need to show anyway. This is a good scene though. Yeah, this is where all the orc people live, so. Mm hmm. Uh, if you want to. Most of them. Well, yeah, most of them, sorry. There's a different uh, sex. Sects. It's very hard to say that word. Sect? Sect, yeah. For me, at least. Because I want to say sect, like, plural. Mm hmm And that's why I want to add an S to it. So I end up saying sects, and it sounds like I'm saying sex, and that's not what I'm trying to go for here. <laughs> he says, not do some TMC stuff and look in the camera and say jackpot. <laughs> jackpot. <laughs> Don't you say it. <laughs> Jackpot. Jackpot. No, oh, yeah. man. There she goes. That's great. I love how uh, I remember when you were waiting in line to get his autograph. Oh, to yeah. Get his autograph. And me and Ellen are just like, where the fuck is he at? He's been gone for like four hours. <laughs> and he didn't even know he had an autograph session because the con was so jankily run. Oh, yeah. And he was just fighting everyone in Street Fighter because yeah, they got... challenged him at yeah. the panel. <laughs> that was amazing. That was a wild fucking con. Oh, my God. Yeah, though we're probably never going back there again. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, let's say other be. Life goes on. Oh, yep, here's this. Yeah, that looks great. Right, yeah. And this will be a part of the book uh, that we'll have on probably, once it's all done, I guess we'll kickstart it or something. We'll figure out what we're going to be doing with this thing. <laughs> yes, the cat is, yes, like, it go, this fight is crazy. Like I said, it's like a JoJo fight. It's like Iggy vs. Pet Shop. Yeah. <laughs> it's nutty. <laughs> so. But yeah, we're going to head out. All right, everyone have a great night. Yep, and y'all stay safe out there. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Have fun. All right, we'll see you on Saturday. We'll see you on Saturday. I'm going to be okay, working no, on no. the uh, uh, comic. I think we're going to start at 7 also. Yeah, we're going to we're going to start streaming earlier. We're, I'm trying to go for longer. 
uh, on these streams because apparently that helps in some form or fashion. So we'll try to get there. Yeah, it gives us more chance for people to find us. We're trying yeah. to get to um, what is it? Partner is the next one up. Yeah, I think. Uh, partner is the next one. That's when we have seventy five people viewing at one yeah, time. Yeah, you gotta have seventy five on a lot, so it's a lot. Yeah, but it is also, a lot. We're looking to get to this uh, hundred follower extravaganza. So. That too. Once we get to the hundred follower extravaganza, that's when we're gonna draw slash do a live reading of our uh, evil ex roommates. Uh, post-apocalyptic self-insert Yu-Gi-Oh fan fiction and I shall draw all the main characters it'll be great so yeah alright everyone have a good night catch you next time see you on Saturday